There is a recent big news in the electric vehicle battery market and it has to do with Tesla and Tesla battery supplier Cattle. Cattle says it improved cell to pack technology and claimed advantage over Tesla's 4680 battery cells. Welcome back dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here the first time, please take a moment and subscribe to our channel and help us reach a goal of 100,000 subscribers and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. Stephen Edelstein has the report in green card saying battery supplier cattle on Wednesday announced its third generation cell to pack technology claiming this new version produces more power than the latest Tesla battery technology 4680 cells cell to pack refers to the direct integration of cells into a battery pack without the modules used in most current pack designs Cattle claims the latest iteration of this technology, known internally as the Killing battery, can deliver 13% more power than the 4680 format cells Tesla is shifting to, given the same volume. Let me make it simple. Cattle says that its new Killing battery can deliver 13% more power than Tesla's 4680 battery cells. But I'm going to later say that this is also good news for Tesla. Stick with me so you know why I mean this. Now, the 4680 cells are larger versions of the cylindrical cells Tesla currently uses. Something CEO Elon Musk has said will unlock cost savings. The automaker plans to start using them in production vehicles beginning with Model Y crossovers assembled at its new Texas plant. In fact, a couple of days ago at Giga Texas opening, Tesla showed the structured pack with uh, 4680 battery cells and we all assume that tesla is already selling those vehicles with 4680 battery cells therefore i have a question if you have received a model y from tesla giga texas does it have the 4680 cells and what are the specs on that now cattle also claims cost effectiveness is an advantage of its cell to pack technology a company press release said cell to pack will provide a balance between long range and economical efficiency the company has already made agreements with several car makers for the technology including hyundai kia and genesis Genesis. However, no car maker has confirmed a production model that will make use of this technology. Cell to pack isn't the only revolutionary piece of battery technology cattle claims to have in its arsenal. The company has said that it has the technology for million mile 16 year batteries and it has teased some attractive specs and performance for future sodium ion cells. I believe future battery breakthroughs will come partly also from Cattle because this company has huge research and development on batteries. Cattle also earlier this year rolled out a new battery swapping solution called EVOGO. EVOGO. It's a standalone business built around swap friendly packs that all for one minute uh, that imagine for one minute swaps according to the Cattle your old battery with a new battery on your electric vehicle. In January, Cattle said EvoGo would launch in 10 cities with more information to be revealed at a later date. So friends, what do you think about all of these developments? These are very interesting battery developments. Now, I am sure Tesla is loving this. Why? Since Cattle is making some of Tesla's 4680 cells. If Tesla, if Cattle has better batteries, better technology than the 4680 then tesla can use them and buy them at the right price panasonic must be loving this as well because this is still good news and we all need good news for the battery technology it's just too bad nickel and cobalt are still needed to achieve high energy density but some people say new solid state sulfur lithium batteries are going to blow away Tesla batteries with up to 900 mile range. I mean, if these batteries are going to get your electric vehicle to 900 mile range, this is wonderful. I believe in the future, I honestly don't know how long it will take, we can easily get to 1000 mile range with electric vehicles per one charge, With um, uh, but at what cost, I don't know. 
hopefully it comes at the right cross now negating all of tesla's advantages this battery may do that i don't know and this will happen maybe in 2023 if uh, cattle introduces this new battery which i believe i said 13 percent is or 16 percent is better than the tesla's 46 battery now 4680 battery now not in 2025 not in 2020 but cattle says next year these same batteries are going to make electric planes a reality finally because if you want to have electric planes you need to come up ways to build new batteries that will get you better range right now tesla is battery cell constrained cattle is already a tesla huge supplier as elon has said multiple times we will buy batteries from whoever will sell at the right price price every auto gigafactory has 4680 cell production on site Giga Shanghai has Panasonic and cattle suppliers nearby. Tesla will buy batteries at the right place, at, at the right price, I'm sorry. As the recent years have shown, Tesla is very nibble and adjusts to a problem. And uh, I think when Tesla sees new batteries coming from cattle, Tesla will definitely buy them if they are at the right price. Now, regarding cattle's new batteries, which they claim are better than Tesla's 4680, you need to take one thing into consideration. It will be interesting to see the final power to weight and volume ratio once packaged with thermal control because weight to volume ratio is very important. That will affect the price of these batteries. The cylindrical cell can offer space for thermal conductivity. Whatever good competition is progress. Tesla never said 4680 battery cell is the best. It is one of the choices among many other forms. I believe Tesla just choose its based, uh, chooses the batteries, it choose it based on some arbitrary numbers. Based on their battery day slides, there is a range of number that could easily have gotten similar, if not better density, 4581 or 4778 battery size, could easily be just as good cylindrical cells have some wasted space in packaging so at the pack level there is some room for improvement when the cells are in different shape so what we are saying is that cattle's new killing cell to uh, pack battery by the way it's spelled q i l i n this new killing cell to pack battery is more energy dense by volume than their own 4680 battery which is being made for tesla we need to know what the weight difference is between 47 and 75 kilowatt hour versions and these two types which is safer which is la which lasts longer which recharges faster the NCM version of the Kilin may be the most energy dense battery by volume in the industry as claimed by cattle. But the BYD blade still sets the standard for LFP batteries, say some people. The LFP version of the Kilin can't match it, also say some people. This entire thing boils down to the following, friends. Two things. Cattle has designed a cell to pack battery just like Tesla is beginning to build a new model wise in Texas right now. However, nobody is using the cattle design in a vehicle yet, but this may change soon. And the second, because they use prismatic cells, cattle's volumetric energy density is 13% better than Tesla who uses cylindrical cells. What do you think about this, friends? This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. God bless you, everyone. Peace to the world and have a wonderful rest of the day. I'll see you soon in our next Tesla report today.